he was my guy as a, as a player that I wanted to be like, hit like. How would you um, describe him as a player? Uh, you know what I mean? Calm and like smooth. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rippin' Packs. We are here with Donnie Baseball. Don, thanks for joining us today. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, are you excited to rip open some packs from 1984? I am. Yeah, that sounds good. Your iconic rookie card, right, was Could the year 84. Um, yeah. Take us back to seeing yourself on a Topps card for the first time. No, it's probably, I, I don't know how, how, what guys talk about, but like I think it's, it's the ultimate. You know, you come in, your dreams kind of get into the big leagues to play, but then you see your face on that card, that first one sure. is something special, right? I can't say I collected as a kid, mm -hmm. but I had them. I, you know, I bought cards. Of course. And had boxes of them. Did you buy them for the stick of bubble gum? I pretty much did. <laughs> I pretty much did. There you go. Well, too, if, you could, if you could feel it, we have the gum in here because these have oh. been sealed since the 80s, but we're not going to recommend that you that you eat it. Okay, but um, all right, I will let you do the honors. I'm going to rip uh, this one. You uh, you get to rip that one. Let's see who we've got in here. See, this is checking on my memory, right? At this point, <laughs> back to 84. Yeah. I mean, oh, I see the first one on the back side. I already know. Here we go. Like my man, Claudel. Ooh, look Claudel at that design, too. good freaking hit. Yep. You know, I got the chance to play with him in New York. Widest shoulders. I mean, like they tell you you can hang laundry on this dude's shoulders. But I seen Claudel as a young player, right? I remember the fur coat and the, with the A's, mm -hmm. right? So that's my first first guy right there, Claudel, great dude. My man, Rod Carew. Oh. No, I'm seriously the man, Rod Carew. <laughs> this was my favorite as a kid. I patterned a lot of things after Rod. Mm -hmm. uh, he was my guy as a, as a player that I wanted to be like, hit like. How would uh, you describe him as a player? Uh, you know what I mean, calm and like smooth, yep. right? Like have that cobra look to him, like that snatch in his mm -hmm. hand, a lot mm -hmm. of hands, and had that cobra look to him. And Rod was a, he was, he was my, basically my hitting idol. I wanted to be like, like Rod. All right, Ferguson Who we got? Jenkins, missed him. Steve Carlton, got him at the end. And obviously Tom Seaver, like wow. one of the best. What he a actually, hell of a card this is. This is a great <laughs> card. Fergie Carlton Seaver, I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I was in Tom's uh, 300th win mm -hmm. at Yankee Stadium, mm -hmm. and a very good good man. What do you remember most from that day? Uh, just it seemed like we couldn't do a lot with him. Um, it just seemed to be his day. Yep. You know, that's, Sometimes that's you what just it know. Was. It was his day. Mm -hmm. At that point, he was more of a change speeds, locate, mix and match guy at the end of his career. Mm -hmm. Had a chance to actually meet Tom uh, during my career, but more afterwards, uh, he would donate some wine to our foundation, mm -hmm. uh, events and things like that. Yep. Uh, just, a, just a great person. Now, when you were first coming up, who were some of the guys that just took you under their wing when you got to the big leagues? Guys like Goose Gossage, mm -hmm. you know, obviously the Yankee guys, Greg Nettles, yeah. Willie Wandoff, uh, guys that were good to me and my wife at the time. Yeah. Uh, that's what you remember those guys because the guys that you come in with are the guys that kind of teach you what the way you're supposed to sure. play this game and, and how you act in the big leagues. Yeah. And so I'm very grateful for, you know, I could I can rattle off names of Lou Pinella, Bobby Mercer, uh, Goose, Nettles, Gidry, Rigetti. I mean, it just goes on and on, right? It's but amazing. they were all really good to me from the standpoint of like, you always try to be respectful of the older guys, but they were sure. all treating me well. Cool. All right, let's see who else we've got in here. Who else we got? Carlton again. Okay. Steve Carlton wins his, let's say here. Yeah, a little bit of a highlight card there. Yeah, highlight card. Oh, another, oh, here's my man. <laughs> Goose Gossage, mm -hmm. Raleigh Fingers, and Dan Quisenberry. Oof. Yeah. You gotta love that stash, right? Yeah. Oakland was like, I was kind of an Oakland guy. Mm -hmm. Reds in Oakland as a kid, right? But that's more about like, who's winning? As a kid, like we're front runners <laughs> uh, for the most part. Who's your favorite player growing up? Or was Rock it Carew? Carew. Yeah. It was Carew. Gotcha. Yeah. Carew, and, and I have to say Griffey Sr. Mm -hmm. was one of those guys. I liked the big red machine. Yep. And Griffey Sr. was one of those guys I liked. I had a chance to play with him in New York, which was really cool. Yep. And obviously against Junior. Steve Henderson was a guy that uh, I do remember. I think he played for the Mets also and was a hitting coach mm -hmm. too. 
you gotta love these 84 cards too because you get the action shot and then the inset shot, you know, the uh, just the nice portrait shot. These are, uh, you know, you sign some really incredible Topps cards now, but this is, this was big stuff for us back then. Right, you know, the, the double, right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. All right, so listen, not a bad pack. Uh, <laughs> Carew, your boy Carew, Gossage, yeah, we had uh, Fingers, uh, not a bad pack, and, and the stale gum to go with it. We've got uh, one more of 84. Uh, what do you think, one more pack? Yeah, let's roll through them. Let's see it. I mean, I'll talk less. No, please Going don't. Um, but I am curious, I mean, what is it like transitioning from being a player to being a manager? It's different. Obviously, I think it's more the, the times mm -hmm. just continue to change, and I think that's your differences yep. as, a, as a manager. You're always kind of, you got to stay up with the times mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. keep moving with these guys. Like, you know, most of these guys play a lot of video games. I didn't, didn't do it. They're, most of sure. them are social media. They're out. They're rolling on their phones. <laughs> right. Uh, it's not my thing. But, you know, it's like one of those things you learn. Like my wife's on it and stuff like that, but it's not my deal. <laughs> She's the MVP, right? She is the MVP. George Wright. Let's start with George. Uh, remember him a little bit from Texas. I guarantee you we had to cross over a little bit. Yeah, Bob McClure. He's another one. Remember him from the Brew Crew. He was a little tough on the lefty. I didn't see him much, but it had that little uh, kind of, he'd like turn. He'd do that little El Teante on you and turn and give you a little angle and you don't see the ball good. So he was a guy that was tough on you. Gotta love those powder blue unis too. Yeah, everybody <laughs> loves those belt unis. Look at that belt. Yeah. Chet the Jet, Chet the Jet Lemon on that 84, part of that, I mean, a lot of other teams, but part of that 84 Tigers team. This guy got me in trouble. 84 opening day, tried to make a play. Ball got by me, fans booed. That's the way it goes. That's Thanks, being Chet. a Yankees player, Thanks, right? Chet. <laughs> uh oh, this guy, I've heard of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. Yes. That one, for my little guy. You're just gonna pocket that one? <laughs> just pocket it. Oh that. my God! This is it. 1984, Don Mattingly. That's it. 19th round pick. Oh my God. Didn't run. Uh, <laughs> didn't throw. No power. Uh, pretty much it. <laughs> That's it. This guy was a bust, huh? That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Eddie Milner. Pat. Oh. I'm gonna pass Eddie because I don't know Eddie very well mm -hmm. at all. I don't know Eddie at all. Okay. But then I get to this next guy, Tim Wallach. Okay. He was Tell the man. He was the man. He's my man. Look how skinny he is there. <laughs> I like to see him now. But you know, Wally. Uh, obviously, seen Wally a lot with Montreal. He was my bench coach, third sure. base coach in LA, bench coach in Miami. Great baseball guy and great baseball family. He's got three boys that I think I don't know if they've all played in the big leagues, but they all got close. Great family. Great baseball family. This dude, love this dude. This dude's a man. Isn't that what it's all about? Sharing it with your family? I mean, you know, it's it's a team sport. You can't get it get through it without your brothers, without your own family at home. Um, that's what baseball's all about. It's the best part of it. It really is. It's yeah. cool because this cat here, I see him across the field, never played again. Yep. No interleague, see him in spring training. But, you know, getting to know him over the years we worked together, I mean, love this dude. Yeah. Dude's awesome. Oh, we're gonna penny sleeve the uh, the Don Mattingly. Oh yeah, keep it. 84. We gotta keep those edges perfect. Uh oh, here's the man again. Greg Nettles, Reggie Jackson, and the Bull. Greg Lazinski, active home run leaders. Yeah, these there you dudes. Go. Yeah, Reggie was one of my favorites as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, growing up. Quick Reggie story. We play. I'm, I'm in Nashville, Double A. Yankees come to town, we're gonna play. We play in first base, Reggie gets on, we change pitchers. He doesn't talk to me the whole time. As soon as the guy's getting ready to throw a pitch, he turns around and says, hi, I'm Reggie. Like he knows what am I gonna do about that. Of course. Um, and then Greg Nettles, one of those guys that took care, you know, I felt like took care of me as a, as a young player. And then the Bull, you know, I heard about him, and then I seen him in, with the White Sox mm -hmm. and uh, obviously three great players there. There we go. Got back-to-back -back Reggie cards yeah, here. Yeah, and Nettles cards. So here. let's see, we've got the home run leaders that I've got, and you have what? Uh, RBI, RBI leaders. RBI leaders. Over there. So we, just, we threw Simmons into that group. Mm -hmm. uh, Reggie and then Nettles. So which is really cool. Yeah, I think two out of three in the Hall of Fame now with Ted in there. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously Reggie uh, and Greg Nettles. Honestly, you could probably argue, but nobody wants to listen. 
And we got Carlton, Nolan, mm -hmm. and Tom. Sheesh. Wow, that's a Where's heavy that? Where card. Where are those sleeves? <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Put this in sleeve. Take yes. me out of that sleeve. No doubt about that it. That is a massive card. Yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah, that's a great card. Man. Wow. Well, I don't know what else oh, to say. Oh, here we go. We, we got another one from yeah, Brandon here better. for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Beautiful. the only one there we haven't really talked about is Nolan. And mm -hmm. He was one of those guys, amazing, right? Like, he was amazing from the standpoint that at the end of his career, he was still getting it there. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. one of the little terms you would say, I, want to, I got to turn it up a little bit. And like with Nolan, you, at 45 or 46, you still had to turn up the dial a little bit to get on that heater, which is pretty amazing. A lot of the other guys, their stuff was not the same at mm -hmm. the end of their career, but Nolan at the end was still bringing it. Yep. And a power pitcher, I guess the belt, that change up, always had the good breaking ball. And my checklist. And your checklist, this gone. is it. That's not what you do as a kid. You get yeah. a checklist and you go, <laughs> You put it in the spokes of your bike, that's yeah. what you do. And probably with a lot of these cards, honestly, <laughs> to, be, to be truthful, they yeah. probably did go in the spokes. They absolutely did. And I, I lost a lot of money in those spokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, um, would you do this the, the honor? It's, it's so awesome that we pulled your card here. Would you uh, sign your rookie card sure. for us? Yeah. yeah. There you absolutely. go. What a pull. Yeah, send that one to Cal. <laughs> we'll send that one to Cal in, in exchange for his, his 86 Don Mattingly that he pulled. Yeah, he liked that one. Maybe oh, better. man, amazing. Well, listen, thank you so much for hanging out and ripping open some packs with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. We will be back with another episode of Ripping Packs.